I'm Patty, and we are going on some adventures at the Urban Farm. It's a rainy day today, so we're inside, and we thought we would introduce you to some of our friends. Feathered friends, poultry and waterfowl. We actually have three little babies here today. They're just over a week old. We have a chick, which is a breed called Easter Egger. They, when, when that chick is grown, she will lay eggs that are lovely colors. We have a goose. This is a Toulouse goose, which came to us uh, from an egg uh, at our friend's Chatworth Farms. And here is a little duck that was hatched at another farm called Duckopolis. This is called a Cayuga duck. So we've got a duckling, a gosling, and a chick. Those are the names for these three baby birds. They are often found on farms. So these are domesticated animals. They're not animals from the wild. You wouldn't want to go or, and interact with any birds that are to be found in the wild. But because these are on, in a small flock on a small farm, we can actually hang out with them, pet them a little bit as long as we're careful. Let's talk a little bit about what baby birds need. They need many of the same things. They need water for uh, drinking. They need food for eating. Here's a little baby bird feeder. And they also actually need something kind of interesting. It's called grit. These are actually little stones. Birds don't have teeth. They have a, an organ called a gizzard, and that's what grinds the food they eat. So they actually need to eat tiny little stones to help with the grinding motion in their gizzard. Babies also need warmth. You can see they're all downy. This doesn't help them stay warm. They won't fully fledge out. The chicks won't fully fledge out till about 12 weeks old. So when they have their baby feathers at first, they can't keep their bodies warm. So we actually, when they're in their coop, we have to put a light over them to keep them warm. If they were hatched by their mom, their mom's body warmth would keep them warm while they grow. I thought it'd be fun for you to see a couple of the eggs. We don't have a duck egg, but we do have a goose egg. So let's look at this little goose. 10 days ago, this goose was inside this egg. Isn't that amazing how much they've grown? And then here's a chicken egg. So uh, just over a week ago, this little chick was inside this egg. It takes 21 days for a chick to hatch. It takes 28 days for a duck to hatch. And it takes 32 days for a gosling to hatch. There are some differences with these. They have lots of similarities, but there are some differences. I wanted you to look at the pointy toes with nails that these, this baby chick has and compare that with these water birds. Look at the webbed toes of this duck. Those are for swimming and the goose is the same. Geese like to be on water, they like to swim. So they've got webbed toes for swimming. You'll also notice their beaks are different. Chicks have a very pointy beak. They wanna be digging, getting bugs, getting seeds in the soil. And geese and ducks have very sort of flat beaks. They are actually uh, reaching underwater, filtering bugs and plants with, from, with water. So these won't be living at the urban farm. The chicks might next year. We have a little flock at the urban farm, but babies can't actually live at urban farms. They have to be in the country. So when this baby grows up, uh, she'll be ready to lay eggs around 20 weeks then she would be able to actually go and live at the farm. And the ducks and the geese are actually going to stay in the country. We hope you enjoyed meeting some of our feathered friends today and that you will come back and join us for more adventures at the urban farm.